I, I was lucky to, to get a job at the Rutherford Laboratory uh, because CERN at that stage were encouraging the development of superconducting magnet technology. Um, so they got Rutherford and Seckle and uh, Karlsruhe to start programs which in the end led to the magnets which are in the LHC. Fantastic, that's, that's from 1970 to 2005 before the project <laughs> gets to completion. Well, but that's... the software that was developed at Rutherford for designing magnets was essential and the requirements for accelerator magnets were so tight with accuracy required of 0.1% or better. Having learnt to supply that sort of accuracy for the Pine G physics field, we were perfectly placed for MRI magnets when they came along. Bill Trowbridge at the Rutherford Lab um, was inaugurated the CompuMate conference to try and uh, take forward the, the use of computational techniques for designing electromagnets. And people from around the world participating in CompuMate. We got to know people at universities throughout the world. And there was a, a critical mass of people who were brought together to, to develop the subject. We were right at the centre of that part of those developments. Interestingly, so I was using, of course, direct solvers before then. We've gone full circle now where, where direct solvers are becoming interesting again because of parallelization. Mm -hmm. They just parallelize so much better. Yeah. Well, and also um, changes in computer technology over the years. So when we started, almost no memory compared to now, fantastically slow. But the, with the enormous memories now available, you can solve very large problems with direct methods which have a, such a high memory cost. always had to try and address what the customers wanted mm. to do as well. I, I can just think back to how much additional technology I had to come up to speed with really quickly. Having had a life in electrical machines, I was suddenly doing tokamaks and pipeline inspection vehicles and cathodic protection. Now, those are all things I didn't mm. know any, anything about at all. And, um, and I think this is one of the great strengths of the software and why, why we've been able to be um, a company that, uh, that has continued is that we have addressed all these technologies and provided the tools that people need to meet their specific applications.